this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We're we'll looking at the MACDs, the moving averages, the day's support resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Monday the 9th of August. Jump straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar and the outer candlesticks. It's a bearish start to the day for Bitcoin. Going to see Bitcoin move through the first major support level at 42,979 and through the pivot at 44,114 to bring the first major resistance level at 44,929 into play. Support from the broader market is going to be needed for Bitcoin to break out from 44,500 levels, however. So, buying an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 45,250 to cap any upside. In the event of a broad based crypto rally, Bitcoin could target 47,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 46.064. Failure to move back through the first major support level at 42.979 would bring the second major support level 42.164 into play. Barring an extend itself on the day, however, Bitcoin should still well clear of the 38.2% FIB at 41.592. Looking at the MACDs, we have a marked widening of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day. That's coming off the back of yesterday's late pullback and this morning's sell-off. So look out for direction there. On the MAs, the 50 has narrowed marginally on the 100 and the 200. That's still a bullish indicator, however. So I need to keep an eye on that through the morning. So key would be to move back through the first major support level, 42.979, and through the pivot at 44.114 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that, and that second major support level will come into play. Going across Ethereum against US dollar, particularly bearish start to the day as well. Going to need to Ethereum move through the pivot at 3052 to take a run at the first major resistance level, sitting at 3155. Going to need to see plenty of support from the broader market for Ethereum to break back through to 3100 levels, however. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level, and yesterday's high, at 3191.99 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, we've got the 23.6% FIB at 3369 to cap any upside. Second major resistance level is at 3295. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 2911 back into play. Barring an extended itself on the day, however, Theorem should avoid the second major support level at 2808. Looking at the MACDs, we have a widening of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day. That's coming off the back of yesterday's late pullback and this morning's sell-off. So look out for direction there. On the EMAs, the 50 has also narrowed on the 100 and the 200. That supported the early downside, but still bullish indicator. So need to keep an eye out for direction from the 50 EMA through the morning. So key would be to move through the pivot at 3052 and back through to 3100 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Bearish to do that and support levels will remain in play. Across to Litecoin against US dollar, also a bearish start. Going to need to see Litecoin move through the pivot at 152 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 156. We'll need plenty of support from the broader market for Litecoin to break out from 155s. So, barring an extended rally on dates, but that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 157.72 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, you could see Litecoin target 165s. Before any pullback, second major resistance level sits at 162. Failure to move through the pivot would bring this first major support level at 145 into play. Barring an extended itself on the day, Litecoin should avoid some 140s. Second major support level at 141 should limit the downside. Looking at MACD, similar trend, widening of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day. So keep an eye out for direction there. More significantly, on the MA, the 50 is narrowing on the 100 and the 200. Further narrowing would put further pressure on Litecoin through the morning. So key would be to move through the pivot at 152 and break back through to 155 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will remain in play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, similar trend. Going to see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at 7980 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 8232. Going to see plenty of support from the broader market for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 0 0.80 levels. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 84169 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Ripple's XRP target 0 0.90 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level, so it's 8669. Failure to move through the pivot would leave the first major support level at 7543 into play. Barring an extended itself on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid sub 0.75.
second major support level. So it's at 7291. Looking at the MACDs, widening of the bearish head scrams through the turn of the day, coming off the back of yesterday's sell off and this morning's pullback. So look out for direction there. On the MAs, the 50s narrowed on the 100 and 200, supporting this early downside. So keep an eye out for direction, a further narrowing, also pressuring Bitcoin through the morning if we see a further narrowing. So key would be to move through the pivot at 7980 and back through to 0.80 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will remain in play.